Hello everyone, welcome back to We Collect Wrestling, where it's all everything wrestling, which means we want everything, including these funky freshness Funko Pops from WWE. If you're not aware of who this is, I will show this Funko at the end. For those that know who this is, up to you if you want to spoil it for others, but you know. Anyways. I'm going to go ahead and get this video started. I only got four Funkos to start because, you know, as we collect wrestling, we started with figures and all that and found that Funko Pops are also something that's starting to gain traction. So better get in before we get out, right? So with that, start with our cheapest one here that I got, the first Funko Pop I found. I have seen a lot of them at Walgreens and places like that, but they're always damaged, so I tried not to get damaged ones. But this one right here is number 68, Brett the Hitman Hart. Sorry you got to see a spoiler there in the back, but I will show that one next as it won't be spoiled anymore. So, Brett the Hitman Hart, number 68, looking real nice, looking sharp, famous pose, one of his most famous outfits. There is actually another one out there with the pink top, black bottoms worth more money. This one's going for about seven to ten dollars on the market. Again, that's Brett, the Hitman Heart. On the back is the ones that came in the set. So if you're an Undertaker fan, they have Undertaker. You got Elias, Becky Lynch, Trish Stratus, all that. But basically, Undertaker is probably the best one out of that entire set. Go ahead and place that down. Let's move on to. The Young Bucks. So, like I said, we collect everything. It's not just WWE. It's not just WCW or ECW or any of that. It's everything that has to do with wrestling. If we can find it, we will get it. Show it off. So this is the Young Bucks 2-pack from the Hot Topic exclusive. They have two different versions with two different outfits. The other outfit is like a $7 figure or something like that basically the other outfits not worth the price this one right here is going for around thirteen dollars I paid a little bit more for that but I got a deal so that way it wasn't as bad but that right there is the only issue I have with it otherwise I am a fan of the Young Bucks when we go in Denver hopefully I can get this signed but if I'm hanging out with our man Sammy Guevara might not be asking him to sign this because then it might just end up in the trash. LOL, just kidding. But with that, this is your two-pack from New Japan Pro Wrestling's Bullet Club. There are two other ones. We are on the hunt for Cody and Kenny Omega right now. Sorry, almost forgot his name. Just kidding. With that, the last one that we have. Well, we got two more to go. Apologize. Next one up. Chris, you just made the list, Jericho, with this famous list of Jericho, like the action figure I have, I had to have this one, he's going for between $10 to $15 right now, depending on the box, shipping, all that good stuff, but this right here is Chris, you just made the list, Jericho's Funko Pop, so, sorry, I'm trying to slow down, but I am a fast talker. The one out of this one to go for would be Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase. They have two versions. The first version you can get for five to ten dollars online. The special chase version comes with the white suit. That one's of course like all other Funko Pops between twenty to thirty dollars. But this is the set that came with the wave with Chris Jericho. Thank you very much for my boring talk. I am on to the last funk freshness. The best one I have so far. That is the Roman Reigns number 23 Funko Pop. This one right here is going for a little more than $20. Bottom price is about $20. If you get anything lower than $20, they probably opened it up, played with it, and put it back in. So be careful of what you get. Bret Hart is one of those buys where I actually went to a Funko swap. And in that Funko swap, 
they had the Bret Hart. I was happy to get it, but then I got really a close look at it to see there was a mark on the cheek, and I'm like, no way. The bottom's a little loose. Let's check it out. Yep, inside was a crease in the flap, meaning this person enjoyed it and then went and tried to sell it for the same price that he paid or would have gotten for it anyway. So be aware of what you get when you get it. This one right here is Andre the Giant. This Andre the Giant, I don't believe is the, you know, bigger version. The bigger version is the one that everybody wants. Nature Boy Ric Flair, they have him and Roddy Piper going for a bunch of money. This Ultimate Warrior is going for a bunch of money. Roman Reigns. The Sting in this one is actually probably the cheapest. Well, him and Andre are the two in the set that are the cheapest. The rest of them you're probably looking at $20 plus. So, thank you very much for tuning in to We Collect Wrestling as we show off more wrestling stuff as we get them. Please check out our Instagram as we do continue to do behind the scenes hunts of what we're looking at, what we may get, and what we pass on. So, thank you again for checking out We Collect Wrestling. Please subscribe. Please hit that like button. Thank you.